Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kartsim social media channels. You join me from our HQ at the Silverstone Circuit and I hope that this quick video will help to assist you in setting up your hardware peripherals with the Kartsim simulation software. You may be struggling with correctly matching up the hardware to the software, so this quick and easy guide should help you to get out on that virtual track in no time. But if you do have any further questions, don't be shy to ask us in the comments below. So firstly, plug in your peripheral through the USB port in your computer and load up the relevant software which accompanies this hardware. In this software, check that the peripheral is working as it should and correctly synced with the computer. Then head over to Steam and load up R Factor 2. Once in the R Factor 2 software, click the cog in the top right corner next to the exit game button. This will take you to the settings screen. Navigate to calibrate controls at the top of your screen and then search through the lengthy list of profiles in the bottom left of your screen. We have a preset profile for the majority of products from all reputable brands in the sim racing market. Select the profile which correctly correlates with your peripheral and once selected, then click load profile. Once loaded, you can then calibrate the input from the hardware to the software to match your desired outcomes. For the steering, you can set the wheel rotation maximum both clockwise and anti-clockwise along with the steering sensitivity and the steering dead zone. For the throttle, you can set where exactly the pedal reaches minimum and maximum input along with the throttle sensitivity. And for the brake, you can also set where the pedal reaches minimum and maximum input along with the brake sensitivity. We would advise customizing the maximum brake pressure in the software to the amount of pressure that you would personally like to use to cause the rear end of the car to lock up. These changes can also be made to the clutch, but of course for kart sim, that's not going to be necessary. Furthermore, the force feedback settings can also be edited from the calibrate controls menu screen. We recommend having the car specific multiplier between 100 and 105% the minimum steering torque at 0.5% and the force feedback strength at minus 100%. But the specific settings needed to get the ultimate level of realism out of your hardware may be slightly different. So trial and error is the best way forward to find the sweet spot for your peripheral. If your piece of hardware does not appear in our list of profiles or you're having troubles with R Factor 2 recognizing your hardware, simply click through to assign controls at the top of your screen. Here you can manually assign each individual input to the part of the peripheral that you desire that input to come from. And once this has been completed, simply create a session and head out on that virtual track. Thank you very much for watching this quick video detailing how to set up your sim racing hardware in Kart Sim using R Factor 2. As mentioned at the start of the video, if you have any further questions, please let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to help you as best we can. Happy racing and we hope to see you at Kart Sim HQ very soon.